I ran the recipe on how to make haggis through Google Translate a whole bunch of times, including Scottish, and then back into English. And now we have to follow exactly what Google tells us to make, which will probably taste better than haggis. Have you seen it? I uh, know. Let me tell you in the form of sing song. Okay. Blood inside of a sheep's colon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Step one. Oi. Rinse the whole flesh with cold water. Rinse the whole flesh with cold water. Absolutely. What? Ours or the animals? We'll use a chicken because uh. turns out it's illegal to have like sheep stomach in America. That's the thing we're worried about. <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> I defrosted this thing in 10 minutes from frozen. Thank you. Rinsed. Remove the excess fat and cut the trachea. I'm gonna be honest, this chicken looks pretty lean. You can have 1% body fat if you just get rid of whatever's in here. All this stuff? Yeah. I've said that, I've always asked how much of that all is wet. Where is fat? In your, <laughs> in your butt. In your butt. <laughs> in my neck. Oh. You smell that too, huh? Oh my lord. That's that 10 minute defrost you're smelling. <sighs> oh my gosh. See, we're already, <sighs> it is so cold inside of this chicken. <laughs> Oh. Is that the neck? That's the neck. Remove the trachea. Oh. Whoa, dude. Oh. What? Everything you're doing is just wrong. That ain't just like mom used to be. You cut off some excess fat. <laughs> Let me help. Yeah, please. Let me know when you get that trachea cut. Gotcha, bud. It shouldn't be too much of an issue with what you got going on over there. <laughs> How am I cutting everything but the trachea? <laughs> the chicken's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on the cutting board so we don't get any juice on the table. Step three, place in a good sized pot and cover it with cold water. When? I'm just now realizing this is probably, I don't want to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> I got other pots. You made your soup, now sleep in it. <laughs> the smell is like nothing you could ever imagine. Yeah, it's totally just the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you wanna go ahead and put this in a regular sized pot and we'll go ahead and boil it up. Is that the next move to boil? I think so. Oh! Beautiful. <laughs> Brandon, look. Oh God, get out, Brandon! Cold water, please. Cold water. You look dry. Yeah, honestly, I'm doing okay. The lungs are leaking, so stay submerged with a plate or cover. Your lungs are leaking. It's just a sigh of disappointment. <laughs> Bring to a boil and wash your face regularly. Oh, I have been. <laughs> did you put that on the lowest setting? I did. Simmer gently for two hours. You're having trouble with that step? I got a half for two hours? You wanna play catch or something? I got time. It's a... This is supposed to be simmering. You're so right. It's so bad already. <laughs> the chicken started off bad. What are you rinsing? Ah! Instant hot water. Instant boiling, dude. <gasps> Instant boiling water? Oh! Kill two birds with one... Oh, I am so sorry. Instant boiling water. Um. Oh, is it weird that my right eye won't shut correctly? I thought you were just flirting with me. I'm, I'm flirting with salmonella here. <laughs> uh, while that simmers gently for two hours, the next step is the rod will sag and sink. The rod will sag and sink. Got it. I'm glad you understand Scottish because I have no clue. Aw, oh, you sunk my rod. <laughs> you sunk my rod. Oh, the next step's real good. Taste throughout. I'll get you a spoon. Thanks. As a good chef does. It's boiling. <laughs> Ooh, it's boiling. <laughs> Did you know that I'm actually part Irish? Are you ready for the next step? Oh, as ever. Remove the meat from the pan with your fingers or a slotted spoon and rinse the inside in cold water to remove the onion. When the heck did- oh, While I'm doing this, can you please just pull the chicken out with your fingers? Oh yeah, I'll jump on that step. Where's your slotted spoon? Slotted spoon. <laughs> Ooh! That's gonna break. Gently. Gently. That's actually gonna just work? Okay. Is that one of those magic spoons? <laughs> I still get you! <laughs> We are supposed to wash our face throughout. So I appreciate you continuing with the tradition. Oh no. Oh no what? <laughs> Honestly nothing, Brandon. Oh, I, okay. It doesn't matter. Rinse inside with cold water? I don't care for this that much. Okay. And it is full. <laughs> <laughs> nothing we do at this point is edible. <laughs> As a good cook, you always taste as you go along. I was thinking you have to wash your face throughout. Oh! The next step, put it in a bowl and let it cool. He's so confidently walking. 
Oh, a bowl? Yeah, for sure. You got it. Oh, pour the cooking liquid in a small cooking pot and return to the stove to seduce about 500 liters of product. What is 500 liters in America? Wrong. Make it American for me. Seduce 500 liters? Yes. Um, dang, broth. Uh, don't, why so salty? We should hook up. Uh, you're, oh. Uh... Uh, my place is around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> You're putting off an odd vibe. Boy, I can't help but notice that this is just chicken. <laughs> so... There's <laughs> not any other ingredients. There's, huh? not, there's not one more ingredient in here. While the log is reducing finely, chop the cooked hearts and lungs. Oh, so there is more. We need a log. I'll be right back. Okay. Did we ever pull out the lungs? Look at that. Is he chopping down one of my trees back there? What? What? Is that an actual tree, Brand? It's, it's a log. Your riz is overflowing. No! I've assembled what I assume to be. <laughs> <laughs> Three body parts that resemble a heart and lungs. Finally chop that. You are better at chopping than I am. Cut the flowers into small pieces. Yep. No. What? No. What? Uh-uh. You've oh. reduced enough. Be right back. I know, and that's what I don't want. I'm not. I'm not. You are. Be right back. Max. <laughs> <laughs> it does say that we do need to wash our face regularly, so I think we should spray him with the hose when he comes in. Ah! You washed your face. All set now, thank you. That is a full tree. Sometimes I do improvise while cooking. In a large bowl, mix together the suet, pepper, and spices. Large bowl. <gasps> Under the sink, good choice. Large bowl. Large bowl. First try. Oh, we have to mix the sweat, pepper, and spices. Oh, it looks like I've been working a little harder than someone else. Uh, I chopped down a tree. Pepper and spices. Oh, I learned this one. Pepper. Was not prepared <laughs> for that. Pepper. Spices coming hot. Got that. Okay. Nutmeg. It's just ginger. Okay. <laughs> That's like a brown sugar. Hey, enjoy, man. I hate you. So good. It was. Oh, I mean, you bad. didn't even try it. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Measure how much stock is left over from cooking the chicken and make up to one liter with cold water. Again, make it American. How much do you think that is? A potful. Okay. With cold water. Oh, okay. It doesn't look like haggis yet. You know what? Pivot. The chicken mm -hmm. is the sheep butt. Well, then it looks just like haggis. The next step, stir into the haggis mixture. Oh, I forgot there's a little seasoning in there. A little seasoning. <laughs> so technically, we're not eating the chicken. Okay. We're eating what's in the chicken. To test the sauce, cook a tablespoon of the mixture for two to three minutes and enjoy. Add salt, black pepper, or just pepper if needed. Okay. To the sauce. We're not gonna touch the pepper thing. Gotcha. Cook that up, we'll give it a little taste. I have my misalignment, and I can't do it. And then you're gonna have to beat this with your tongue real hard to get it done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste it. It was ginger, that's what I'm tasting. Like a ton of ginger. That is the only seasoning we use. Well, that and sweat. Spoon the mixture of soaked haggis and washed beef stocking. Hold on. Since I tried the last step, guess whose turn it is? Is it weird that it smells good to me? It does smell very good. It's basically ginger chicken or a Scottish person. <laughs> oh, my bad. I'm from Ireland, I can say that. My mother's Conor McGregor. <laughs> when the haggis is the desired size, squeeze out the excess air, break up with, tie it with a string, and cut off with scissors. Squeeze out the excess air. Got it. Oh! oh! What are you doing? No, no, no. What are you doing? I don't honestly have any idea. <laughs> Break up with. It's not you, it's me. We should see other people. I need my key back. <laughs> Tie it with a string and cut it off with scissors. Easy. String. 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 They use every part of the kill. Such an industrious <laughs> people. <laughs> I would know. I am Ireland. <laughs> Tie it off the chicken. Okay, what? I'm assuming for tying it up, it's gonna be a little weird. Tie it with the string. Done. You cut it off with scissors. Oh, the string. The string the button. Tie off the new bung end. You just made the new bung end. And continue weighing. That's two metrics. Yep. <laughs> Freeze the haggis as a spare. Freezer. Freezer. <laughs> Thank 
you. This cooking thing is easy, actually. <laughs> Build a new bung. <laughs> got bung juice. <laughs> Which one did you intend on being the bung? Well, to me, Brandon, that would be a bung. <laughs> Pierce the haggis a few times with a needle before cooking. Mm, I couldn't find a needle. Pierce. Oh. Nice to meet you. It's nice to put a name to the bung. <laughs> Isn't this gonna deflate the new bung? It wanted air out of it anyway. Oh, I love it when a recipe comes together. Please be the last step. It's not. Place in a pan of cold water and bring to a boil. Uh, oh, with cold water, right? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good. All right. Oh, so that's what that feels like. Oh, man, I'm sorry I was doing that to you. Okay, and then we let it simmer for one to five to two hours. The metric system doesn't make sense. Oh, you got a little bit of, a little bit of water on you. You got some schmutz, bud. While we wait, when ready, the internal temperature should read at least 74 degrees Celsius. Not in America, it won't. No, sorry, it's gonna read 115 Fahrenheit. 165 mm. degrees. You trying to get me sick? <laughs> when I eat this bun, <laughs> it better be cooked. To an internal temperature of, of 74 degrees Scotland. I will not eat raw bun. <laughs> get your finger out of my face. I will not eat raw bun. Uh, where's he gonna chill? Bung in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, your bung's overflowing. No! Okay, in the last step, thank God or whoever Scottish people pray. Serve with mashed potatoes and Swede or neeps and tatties. What's a neep and tatty? Neeps and tatties, what mum used to make. So in the bung or <laughs> this is our haggis and these are our neeps and tatties. Perfect! <laughs> I think. Last step was enjoy, right? Yes. The last one to eat is a rotten bung. <laughs> Let's try it. No. Oh, that is bad. That tastes like a tree. Well, that's it. That's Google Translate. Uh, if you want to see more Google Translate, don't worry your brilliantly bondaged bun. <laughs> I've made a playlist. <laughs>